It's time for the show where pop culture and high culture collide. Okay, welcome to you, Don't Know Jack, the trivia quiz where... <laughs> God, I don't know. Ah, a single solo new contestant, all on your own in the world, with me. Come on, let's have one. Let's have some fun. Here comes question one. And your selection is... Genetic Engineering Made Easy. 3,000 quid for a right answer. Brace yourselves, here's the question. What would be the best name for Foghorn Leghorn and Hissing Sid's son? Basil the Basilisk, Harry the Harpy, Kenny the Centaur, or Sandy the Snockerel? The Basilisk was a mythical creature that was half cockerel, half snake. So it slithers up to you and goes, Wah! And now, gateway to heaven. 1K uh, on offer for this one. Friends. Everybody needs good friends. Ross and Rachel go down to the supermarket and buy something named after a member of the Society of Friends. What do they come back to the flat with? Do you do manual work, perchance? A middle class contestant would have said, Members of the Society of Friends are known as Quakers. I generally get my oats around the back of the supermarket with this smashing little girl. Uh, even does loyalty cards. Of course, I always use a condom, because that's the safe way, isn't it? <laughs> From the list of categories, pick a category. Put on your pants for the naked dance. Three! Your choice is... Delia's fruity favourite. You could be getting yourself 2,000 for the right answer. Fingers on the buzzers, here's the question. Uh, the Crowbies write a song about a girl called <laughs> They need a word to rhyme with the way it's pronounced. Which word do they choose? Achieve, give, count it down. Nah, Liam don't rhyme with nothing, but Doctor rhymes with helicopter and shite rhymes with that. That don't rhyme with nothing either. <laughs> I mean, why didn't you pick? The name is pronounced knee, and therefore rhymes with achieve. And using that logic, I would suggest that bucking mile of chit is rhyming slang for the cranberries. Come on, let's... The light sounds of question four. And here we have... Are you calling me a liar? Get it right, and I'll give you a three grand. Hey, you're not gonna believe what happened to me, right, on the way to the studio today, man, yeah? I was out having a stroll, right, with my mates, Noel and Liam, yeah? When suddenly, right, I was chased up to the top of Europe's highest mountain by a herd of man-eating elephants, yeah? Really freaked me out, like, but luckily, a family of Yeti, yeah, they gave me some feathers, which I used to hang glide down out the mountain, right? But unfortunately, right, real bummer, I landed in a secret French nuclear test site near Bombay, yeah? And had to take shelter in a giant anthill. But then, right, the clever ants, yeah, they saved me, by forming a supersonic helicopter with their bodies, yeah, they were really bright ants, really with it, yeah. But when they was eaten right by a flock of flying ant eaters, I glided down on a thermal into the DKJ car park, right? What really pissed me off, man, really freaked me out, yeah. I swear this is all true, man, but which historical figure does my psychologist claim that I am impersonating? Briar all right, yeah, Baron Munchausen is the celebrated seller of tall tales to whom my psychiatrist has compared me. Incidentally, right, I met him and John Redwood on this spaceship the other week, yeah. Independence Day is based on my experiences. I was going to be in it, right, but, you know, I know you don't believe me, right, but, but no, the director, right, rang me up. <laughs> May the devil take me if a word I've said isn't true. All right, Sonny Jim, you're coming with me. Pinky Cat Aha! Chest butt sits grime whore. It's time for Ticklish Pasco. This gibberish category is titled Oh baby, I like it raw. This question has been insured for the initial value of five thousand pounds. Thirty seconds, timekeeper, and you out there, remember, speed is cash. Yes, it's time to make a face like you need a pee as you try and tell me what this rhymes with. Spank me toes, do jolly good. Ooh, do that Tory MP thing you do. A is the name of an 80s popular music outfit. Outfit as in group, not silver boiler suit. A, they're a bunch of rude lads from Merseyside.
OK, type in your answer and hit return. Well, you yeah, gave it your best shot, didn't you? Uh, and it missed uh, by quite a way. Frankie says you don't know Jack. Oh! From the decade that bought you a flock of seagulls, Thatcherism, and crack cocaine, I'd like to burn the lot of them. From the list of cats. This one's called... I just called to ask who moved the furniture. Two thousand pounds for this little baby. The question is as follows. If Stevie Wonder wanted to overcome his sightlessness by developing his own system of echolocation, which of the following animals would not be useful to study? Uh, while we're on the subject, I'd like to set you on fire and put you out with a cricket bat. And the answer is... The only animal in this group you wouldn't want to study is the monkey because they don't orientate themselves by bouncing sound waves. I suspect echolocation would work far better than his first system, namely running really fast until he smacked his hooter into something. Choose. It's time for the attack! Oh, so you want to attack the attack? This is the clue. Call me by my first name. Go now! Win trophies for me! 